Hey guys, this is Keitha from Homemade Lux, and today we're gonna to be doing a resin project. You guys have been asking about resin, how to use it, and that's what we're gonna do in this project today. As always, this is a Homemade Lux craft subscription box project. We send you everything you need to make this gorgeous project in the box every single month. So let's get started. First, of course, protect your surface, get some plastic, go ahead and sand your cheese board. To finish sanding it, make sure you get all that dust out of the way. You can also go ahead and whitewash your cutting board if that's something that you want the design to look like at the end. You can um, paint it or just leave it natural like I did. Next step is to take that pink paint and just combine your epoxy resin with your epoxy hardener. You're gonna just massage your bag um, um, back and forth until these, are two, these two are combined, about three minutes to make sure they're fully combined. Then go ahead and take your three mini mixing cups and you're gonna just cut the edge of that resin and just go ahead and pour that in. Um, once you get resin started, you have about 45 minutes to do your project before it starts to harden. So just keep that in mind as you're going. You don't wanna start this project and stop in the middle of it. So I'm just pouring out um, some epoxy in each cup. One of the cups I really don't need that much in, that's gonna be my gold cup. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and make sure I have a, um, less in one of the cups. Um, there's also another step you can do to prepare your cutting board and that is to add some tape to the back of it like some painters tape that will prevent like if any resin gets to the back of your project it won't stick like the cups won't stick to it nothing will stick to it once it dries so uh, that's something that you might want to consider as well at this point once you've got your resin you're gonna start adding your paint you're gonna just mix make sure you shake your paint well and just add a, a little bit I don't know maybe this is like a half a teaspoon or something of paint till you get the desired op opacity uh, <laughs> uh, sorry I'm from Barbados when we say that word so differently anyway um, until you get the desired color that you would like so that's my gold Next, we're gonna go ahead and do the white. You will need about a little bit less white, than, a little bit less pink than white um, when you're mixing your resin. But don't really worry about that. Just mix an equal amount of pink and white. And then at the end, you can always add some white to the pink to get um, a little bit different shade of pink. I really like doing that. Or purple, just depends on which, which um, color you have in your kit. And then lastly, you're gonna add your color, your pink or your purple, and you're just gonna use your craft kit, your craft sticks to stir these. Each cup you should stir for about a minute to just make sure that it's, the paint is thoroughly combined with your resin. All right, now that those are all done you get those out the way and grab your cutting board cheese board whatever you want to call it make sure you have your gloves to protect your hands um, and then go ahead and get used two large cups and use those to just kind of elevate your cutting board so that any resin will fall off of it and what you don't want to happen is for your resin to fall onto the cups because then those cups will that resin will harden and the cups will stick to your cutting board so make sure you have uh, those cups out of the way on the back of of your cutting board that's very important uh, but now we can just get started with kind of putting on and I'm starting with the pink and just kind of putting it on in a zigzag pattern. I only want to cover like the top half of my um, cheese board. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And notice that I'm not using all of my resin for each of these colors because I might want to go back in and add some pink or some white or some gold other places. So then I'm gonna just take my white and try to fill in those gaps that I left um, before. And then of course one on the end. And lastly with the gold you don't need that much gold the gold here is should be an accent color and um yeah 
then you just tilt you tilt your resin um, you tilt your cheese board so that resin can just kind of flow organically from one side of your board to the other you do want to cover the side so make sure that resin just kind of falls off so that the sides are covered as well and then you want to get your hair dryer and use it on a, a hot setting will kind of make it move even faster so you just control the heat as much as or as little as you want but once you get it pretty close there to your resin it will spread that resin in any direction that you want it to so my only caveat here is to be careful don't do too much because your colors can get muddled together you just want to move these colors around a little bit um, till you get a really cool pour painting um, type uh, design and one thing I love about these resin projects, no project is the same. You can't mess it up. You just add more paint. Just kind of look at it and see if one section needs more pink or white. Right here, I should have added some more white to this pink so I could get like some depth. Um, so please go ahead and try that. You can even try it with the gold, adding some white. Um, but yeah, that that's what you do. You just keep adding, layering until you get the desired colors that you want. Also, uh, just as an FYI, you could add things like glitter, you can add glass, shard, uh, crushed glass looks really great in these resin projects. Um, all kind of things you can do to experiment with resin now that you've tried your first project you might want to try different cutting boards of different sizes maybe some trays you can do a gallery wall of different um, resin projects on your wall I love seeing different sizes of um, cutting boards like these um, on, on a gallery wall if you make a mistake on your project use a q-tip and just remove that resin before it, it hardens and that's it you have completed your first resin project uh, you can also use your craft sticks to kind of spread your resin uh, in the exact places that you want that's another technique as well but that's my finished project guys I'm done with mine from here I'm just gonna let this dry for 24 hours and again make sure that it doesn't the cups do not dry to the back of your cheese boards be very careful about that and that's it guys I hope you enjoyed this project as always, you can have this craft kit delivered with all the materials that you need to create this project if you go to homemadelux.com. We would love to craft with you every month or just buy a one-time kit like this one so you can craft with us. See you then.